Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I have a very... I'm not sure how this vlog is going to start or how it's going to end really because let me tell you the tea, bitch. So, last night I was just bored. I wanted to do a little state vacation, right? Just for a night, you know, go to the pool. Um, and I thought I'd do like a book a little hotel at downtown Phoenix because it's cheap. There's cute hotels. It's just a cute area. So... I went to book a hotel. I was a little hesitant because like I know hotels you have to be like 21 and above. When I was booking this hotel, it didn't say anything like of being like 21, like you know, anything. So I was like, okay, like I'm good. So tell me why I book it. And then I check my like booking confirmation, itinerary, whatever. And it literally says I have to be 21. The minimum age to be is 21 to check in. So I'm just like you're telling me I didn't pay much for it, but still like I'm trying to get my money's worth, right? So I'm gonna march down there and be like <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna say, but I'm just gonna make shit happen. I'm gonna be really sweet and just see what I can do. Um, but I just finished packing, I just finished getting dressed, my makeup. Check-in is not till three, and it's currently 1 p.m. right now. Um, I have my luggage over here. And then my outfit, I'm just wearing this white button because I mean, if they don't let me in, which I'm really hoping they will, I'm just gonna like kind of wait by the pool and just use their pool because I paid for the hotel. Like, it's not like um, I didn't pay for the hotel. Like, everything's in my name, whatever. So, I'm gonna like go to the pool if anything happens. Um, or I'll just have like one of my friends, I'll probably have one of my friends come and check in for me, which I don't know if will be possible, but hopefully it will be. Um, but my outfit today is just like, this really old white button up, which I kind of wore the other day, so it's kind of wrinkly and dirty. But I just want to wear this for the pool and then some, um, some like satin pants or shorts and I have my speedo under this and then some white socks and then I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to wear. I don't know if my Balenciagas would match with this. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I probably should wear black socks if anything. Um, I also have cowboy boots that I could wear. Um, so I don't know, but... I'm gonna finish getting dressed and just getting everything situated and then I'll definitely check back in once I'm in my Uber and then yeah wish me luck for this hotel y'all I better get in okay I better be able to check in so wish me luck if you're watching this right now also look at my nails they're really cute I did them like a baby blue color um just for summer I was gonna do green like I always do but I was like uh, let me switch it up for y'all or for myself really so yeah wish me luck thanks Okay, y'all, I just checked into my hotel room. I'm gonna have to give you guys, oh, I can't even speak English because I'm so excited right now. So, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. This is the outfit for today. This is the room. It's so fucking like industrial. It's so cute. So this is what it looks like. This is the bed. Guys, the view, the little view that I have, I don't have like a nice, beautiful view, but I do get to see the pool, which is so cute. I see some daddy. I see a daddy over there. So this is a little hotel room. I'm saying this is kind of like arts. It's like an art boutique hotel, which is really cute. It's called the Fondry or something. So the bathroom. Is this the closet? The closet over there. The shower, sweetie. Ooh, I'm about to download Grinder and get a pop it in here because the mirror right here, the waterfall shower over here, sis. But I do want to give you guys a little update of like what happened because you guys know like I'm not 21 and you have to be like the minimum age to check in is 21. So oh my god. The guy was honestly so freaking sweet, right? Oh, this table was lopsided. How do I look that? Okay. So the guy was honestly really sweet and I walk in like I'm like trying to think like what am I gonna what am I gonna search to let him know like I ain't 21. So I walk in, they're really friendly, the staff is really friendly, they're like, hey, I like your makeup, the guy actually calls me ma'am because, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just fish, period. So, sorry, I'm like really hyped right now because this just happened, but I let them know, I'm like, hey, I'm, like, I'm checking into my hotel room, but I have an issue, but here's my last name so we can get started. Um, I check in, he starts checking me and then he's like, okay, like, here you are, what's, what's the issue? What I do. So I tell him, like, hey, like, I was supposed to come here with a plus one, 
but you know those things happen um and yeah i just want to like shit happens and like i just kind of made it seem sad so i kind of felt bad and he was like you know it's cool um it's all good but he'll check me in so i got this room i was literally stressing about this literally all last night and all this morning of like how am i gonna like finesse my way in here even though like i'm not 21 and like the minimum age to check in is 21 but bitch, when you're pretty like me and serve fish, you gotta like that, okay? Period. <laughs> I need to literally relax because I'm so fucking hype right now. But I definitely want to go by the pool. I need to get some tanning in. Let's get into the pool. The pool is actually so cute. Like, look at this artwork over here. There's artwork over there. Sorry, there's kids. I probably should not be recording them. But I wonder where I can lay out by the pool. So let me just update you guys on what I've been doing. Well, I'm literally just in my underwear, um, shorts, whatever. Um, and I've literally just been in my hotel room. I was actually gonna go downstairs, like, to the pool, but there's just a lot of, like, Caucasians at the pool right now, so I don't really feel like going out there, especially in my Speedo when I see kids, and I don't really want to not traumatize them, but I just don't wanna... So yeah, I literally just been in this hotel room just taking pictures almost kind of like relaxing just getting content and shit like that so that's honestly really why i booked this hotel just to just chill and not be at home but yeah this is this is my view like i love it like this isn't like the most amazing beautiful view but like i just i just love it i get to see like <laughs> palm trees a little skyscraper over there um what even is that? i think that's apartments but yeah, I'm actually just really like happy with this hotel room. I just think it's so cute and like very like industrial. But I think I'm probably going to get dinner later on tonight. Mm, I got invited to a party in like Tempe, which is like 20 minutes away. Um, it's just like some like underground like queer party, which I've always wanted to go to like those like electric type of parties. They like, play electric music, um, just like for like queer people as well. But I don't know if I want to go because I don't really bring any like cute clothes to really go out with. So I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know what I'll do. So I'll definitely update you guys on whatever I'm gonna do. Uh, but really, I'm just big chilling. Nothing really planned. Maybe I'll drink wine later. Order food. Watch TV. Okay, so I'm currently debating like what I should get to eat. If I want to eat here, like just. What they have on this menu does not sound appetizing to me. Like, I don't really want pizza. I honestly want sushi, to be quite honest with you. I should really see, like, there's any, like, sushi places nearby. So I can, like, um, I mean, honestly, I feel like walking because, like, the weather. I mean, it's pretty hot outside, but I don't mind walking. Sushi near me. <gasps> I could get ramen, too, even though it's, like, 100 degrees outside. Do my lips look huge right now? I'm wearing lip gloss from, honestly, look, look kind of, like, these lip glosses are just making my lips look so droopy. Or juicy, really. But you know, like, lip gloss looks, like, so, like, not really... Is the word cakey? But they just look kind of, like, too much on your lips. Like, my lips look fucking huge right now. Guys, I really don't know what to eat. I'm, like, having, like, the worst time picking out what to eat. Because everything is either far away, which, like I said, I could Uber, but I really just don't want to. Like, I just want to, like, walk there. Uh, I mean, I could definitely walk for the next hour. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That is, that's literally too fucking extra for me. Like, I'm extra, but I'm not that extra. Ooh, what is this? The dressing room? Ooh, actually, I could probably eat here. It's called the dressing room. And he went there also on a date as well. <laughs> and they actually have really good burgers. But... <laughs> Which I don't know if I'm gonna get a burger there, I could probably get a burger here. I really wanted to go to the pool, but bitches wanna be out there with their families and kids, and I'm not really trying to break out any families, you know. So that's why I have to stay inside. This lighting looks fucking terrible. But this is why I'm trying to stay inside, you know. I see families down by the pool. I don't wanna break any families up. Um, ooh, and it looks really crowded anyways. And the sun's gone. How sad, honestly. I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm getting something to eat right now. I'm actually, I found this coffee shop because I was actually walking to another coffee shop like literally 10 minutes away. But there is like, I don't know if I'm like in a, I think I'm in a good area but there's just a good, like a train thing by me. And there's like a group of boys that were like kind of catcalling me. So, bitch, I said, oh no, sweetie, I'm not about to do that. They were literally talk, talking like, I think they were like calling me names like Fruity, like Little Mama. I don't even know what they were saying, but... Bitch, I looked to my left and saw this little coffee shop. It's actually kind of cute in here. Like, this is what it looks like. So, I'm gonna get food here because, bitch, I'm not. Bitch, I said hell to the fuck. No, especially since I don't have my maze with me, which my dumbass. Okay, so this is a place. It's called Fair Trade Cafe. And I got a oat milk. Oat milk matcha green tea latte. It's so good. That's actually really good. Okay, hi, I'm back. I got my food. Um, yeah, loves it, loves it, loves it, loves it. So, like I said, my original, is this focus? I hope it's focus. Come on, please focus. Like I said, my original plan was to go to The Grand, which is a cafe that I usually go to, or it's a coffee shop that I usually go to. Um, but as I was walking down the fucking streets, um, I actually ran into like two friends, or now friends really, um, and I was walking down the street and there was like a, there's like a, it's not a train, it's a sky, sky train, I don't know what the fuck it's called, honestly. Um, but there's like a little, like, bus stop, train stop if you will and there were just like, a group of guys, teenage boys by just waiting, just a group of them, like five and uh, so, uh, that's why I never leave my house and they literally just what's it called? they just started like calling me names, just like cat calling me really like what did they say, they were saying like hey little mama over here, come, come over here, whatever whatever and then like, they called me like fruity ass and the n word It was not fun to be honest with you. Like I was like, well, bitch. I looked to my left. I said, "Oh, a coffee shop. Let me, let me get my ass over there because because I was just across the street because the friends that I ran into were like, yeah, don't go straight down wherever GPS is taking you because like, there's a lot of homeless people. Like you'll probably get robbed. Like I'm wearing Balenciagas. I have my Prada bag with me. I'm Prada wallet. I went to this coffee shop and I'm really glad I went to the coffee shop because it's literally like across the street from this hotel and. The lady was really nice. I told her like what happened, which is really sweet. And then I got some chips and grilled cheese. Um, I don't know why I got a grilled cheese. To be honest with you, This is like the weirdest grilled cheese ever. You guys do this? Oh gosh. It's like on like a muffin. Really weird, but it's actually kind of good. It's like a weird grilled cheese, honestly. It's like a, it's like a grilled cheese at McDonald's would sell. <laughs> I promise I'm not dragging this little coffee shop. Oh, go. Hey guys, so it is currently Saturday. I obviously just came back home from my little stay vacation for the night. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to give like, you guys a little update because I don't think I really vlogged that much last night. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to put my camera, so I'm gonna sort of sit it down over here, but. Mm, this lighting though, I'm so sorry guys. Sorry, I really had no idea what just happened to my camera, but this fucking lighting too is pissing me off. Um, but where I don't even know where the fuck I was. 
so yeah, I got home and I don't know, I just feel really sad. Like, I think it's just like the, the environment that I'm in. Like, I mean, my, my house is good. Like, it's fine. But I just think like, I don't know. Like, I th it's not like that I want to like be out and like doing like, you know, like partying or like doing shit like that. I just think at the end of the day, like I'm a homebody and like being at home and like being alone by myself. But I don't know, like how to really explain it. I just feel like sad just being back home. I think like I either need to like I've been considering going to like Vegas because I'm gonna stay with my sister like what I usually do like during the summer I go to Vegas to stay with my sister and plus she just moved into a new house um so and it's always like I always have fun when I'm like with my sister and like my niece and just like my other family as well so I've just been considering going to Vegas for like that long but it's just like it's a long time and I'm currently like talking to someone and I feel like it's just like, I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of just like all over the place. Um, I don't, I really don't know what the fuck to do. I just know that I'm sad to be back home, even though like I'm literally always home. I just, I don't know. Like, I I don't know what it is. I think I definitely need to like book, book my flight to Vegas soon. Um, I've actually like, been like doubting on going just because like, I don't know, like, I don't think I'm ready to go to Vegas, like, honestly, like, financially, like, you guys know, like, YouTube and Instagram is my job, and, like, I, I live, like, comfortably, like, my, my bills get paid, like, that, but I feel like if I were to go to Vegas, like, Vegas is, like, the place, like, you want to go shopping, you want to go out, you want to go to dinner, so, like, Vegas for, like, a month or two, like, that's a lot, and I need to, like, definitely, like, work harder, um, because I can, I can definitely do that here and, like, be comfortable, but, like, if I were to go to Vegas, you know, shit just be adding up, so I don't think I'm ready. Like, my plan was to, like, fly out. <clears throat> my plan was to fly out, like, next week to Vegas. Um, but I've just been doubting it. And just, uh, and I, I don't want to be home. All my friends are, like, traveling right now. Like, my friend Cameron moved to um, L.A. Ali Mae, she's always working. She's always doing her own thing. Uh, I have my other friend, Kenya, um, who... Who she's like she's going to Paris next week and then once she gets back she's gonna be like working and just like hustling so I don't really know what to do um, I'm kind of just like all over the place like I've literally also like been trying to get into like styling a little bit so like applying to jobs like, I even made a resume and everything so I'm just like waiting to hear back from the places that I set my resume to um, but in the meantime, like, I'm just gonna, like, continue, like, doing what I usually do, but I just, like, I don't know, I think these past weeks, like, just my emotions and just me have been literally all over the place. Um, I know Mercury isn't in retrograde right now, but I always feel like when Mercury is in retrograde or whatever, um, I feel like my life goes, like, pretty good versus, like, other people, they're, like, always complaining, like, Mercury's in retrograde, like, my life is in shambles, but I feel like when it's when Mercury's in retrograde, like my life is like pretty good. So, but that's honestly besides the fucking point. That's just like off topic. But yeah, I'm back home. Obviously, mm, I still have to like unpack my suitcase. Do you guys love how I brought like a little suitcase for literally one night? So yes, that has been the past day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel so you guys can be part of the baddie guts family um follow me on my instagram twitter everything will be at barbie guts will also be linked down in the description box below and yes i hope you, i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog i've been really trying to vlog more because i feel like it's easier for me um and you guys get to see like more like of like my personal life really um, I don't really want to get into detail, like, why I don't like vlogging, like, and showing my personal life. But, I'm trying to vlog more, by the way. Hopefully you guys can tell. Um, and I feel like you guys definitely like vlogs. I don't know, let me know if you guys want me to vlog more, or if you guys want to see something else. Just let me know in the comments, that would definitely, like, make my life a lot easier, just seeing what you guys want to, like, see. Um, but, until my next video, um, I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.